so what's up welcome back or if you guys are new welcome to my channel um i have not been on my channel in such a long time <laughs> um like months but i'm back finally and i am wanted to go ahead and do a sit down kind of like edit with me type video i'm gonna be doing a graphic edit showing you guys how to achieve either multiple multiple poses multiple of the same subject multiple eyes or whichever features um just multiples either of the whole subject or a part of the subject i've done this type of edit before for one of my friends she photographed a um, musician chioki and um, she had wanted to do some graphic effects. Everybody liked them um, and a lot of people were asking me how to do them and I ended up really liking the edits that I did because I felt like they were super graphic and I liked them a lot. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to do a full body as well as a close up just so you guys can see um, the difference between the two. The thing you need to do when you come in is to make the multiples of the person or whatever subject or object you have please make a layer i'm gonna go ahead and make actually i'll make two layers layer one and then i hate that it says layer one copy instead of just layer two so yeah layer one and layer two first layer second thing i'm gonna do is blend mode so i'm gonna change the blend mode to darken this is the simplest way in my opinion to do this now you can just cut and you know be extra sometimes i like to be extra but no right now it's two o'clock in the morning and i'm not gonna be extra so i'm just gonna do it this way so honestly so y'all starting to see the gist of what i'm saying like there's multiple of her in the picture that's one way to achieve that um so yeah and you can do this with different images so for example if i wanted to bring in another photo of her which i have another photo of her um actually i'll bring it in just to just to be whatever all right let's just go to import and images from the device why is my laptop on 17%? Just gonna open another picture and then just put it on here. Just to show y'all what I'm talking about. <clears throat> All right, open it up. So let's take this picture here or this layer, for example, copy it and then boom. So see, you can do and you can do what you wanna, this way you wanna. That's actually kinda cute. If you make it small. So, I'm gonna go to, actually I'm gonna go to edit and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to free transform. And I can make my good sis small. I'm gonna unlock the background <laughs> so that this can be at the bottom. Well, because I want her foot, that foot, to be over top of her. So you can go to darken. So y'all can see what I mean by this example. This is not final, and I don't know how I would incorporate that in there because she would need to be a lot smaller, but. You get the juice. I'm gonna go back here and try to work on this one. You change your brush size before you, you know, go ahead and do what you're doing. So really just taking your time to go through, making sure you don't hit none of those edges. Um, of the photo to like cut like have any blunt cuts 
I don't want any of it. And then. Alright. If y'all see my cat jumping down or something just flying in the air, that is my cat who just thinks that it's three in the morning. I really feel like you little yaddy. I feel like it's 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 two in the morning. It's seven in the morning. This looks good. So this is one example of like that blurry, like, you know, effect look that you can get. So this is one example. I'm gonna do another one real quick. So same thing, darken. I can honestly make this one small. This one could be like the front hair. Oh, I kind of liked it. And I actually kind of liked it. So, boom. I think that's really cute. Like these three. I'm going to save this. Cause like you can see the back of her, you can see the front of her. I don't know. I think this is really cute. So my computer may die. Um, my computer is on five percent, so I'm gonna try to do the other uh, other close up picture just to show you guys how it would look with these type of edits close up. Um, but really, just close up, you can play with it more detail in the face. Um, if my computer dies before then, then I will just cut the video. All right, so hey y'all, it's me. I'm actually checking in from editing, and um, I just wanted to let y'all know. So I did go ahead and end up doing this um, later on the up close one. So that's what y'all are seeing here. So these are some pictures that I had taken of Bernard. Um, I did these like I want to say last year in the summer, and I really like these edits. They came out so smooth. Um, so when I decided to do the graphic edit, I feel like I should have picked a more like front facing picture where he's like facing the camera as opposed to him like being on the side but these are the edits that i ended up getting and i hope you guys get like a better feel of how the pictures can look if you do a graphic edit up close okay so yeah my computer died and the mic died everything just died but that's okay because we got my phone and that's where the audio is coming from now so yeah um basically the computer died but i was happy that i was able to show you guys the graphic effects at least using one of the two examples so let me know how you guys like the edits down below and i will see you guys in my next video and i will be back okay i'm not gonna just disappear because I, I do have a tendency to do that but i'm not gonna do that again something about recording today just made me feel good and i'm up at i'm at 2 a.m i go to bed mad early so i'm up at 2 a.m doing this so i'm definitely gonna be doing this a lot more <laughs>